48. What mass of carbon monoxide must be burned to produce 175 kilojoules of EAT under standard state conditions? Okay, we got enthalpy, we got delta H. Enthalpy is basically just a standard state condition in which you are saying how much energy is either released or absorbed for every one mole of a uh, compound, whatever you're talking about. So in this case, my delta H is a negative 283 kilojoules per mole. If I just wrote this out as a algebraic sentence, right, with an equal sign, I would say that for every one mole of carbon monoxide, and carbon monoxide is represented by CO, so for every one mole of carbon monoxide that's burned, right, undergoing combustion, I would get out, or it would equal to, a negative 283 kilojoules. Now, the negative just means that the energy is being released, all right? There's no such thing as, like, negative energy. The negative just means that you're releasing that energy into the environment. So I'm just going to put a negative in here just to say that I know that the energy is being released and not absorbed. But I'm releasing 283 kilojoules. Now we want to know what is the mass of the carbon monoxide in order to produce 175 kilojoules. So it looks like I'm going from kilojoules to mass. I'm converting from one thing to another. Sounds like dimensional analysis to me. So always, always start with what you're given, right? I got 175 kilojoules. And now how am I going to get out of kilojoules? Well, I have this little ratio here. I have a relationship between kilojoules and moles. So that's my first step. And whenever we do a ratio, we, you know, times by the, or whenever we do dimensional analysis, we times by a ratio. I don't want kilojoules, so that's going on the bottom to cancel it out. And in this case, moles are going to be on the top. But now, what is the numbers? Well, for every one mole, and maybe I should be more, a little bit more specific, I'll say one mole of carbon monoxide, CO. For every one mole of carbon monoxide, basically 283 kilojoules are going to be released. Now, you have two options here. You could put the negative here, but remember, the negative just means that it's being released. There's no such thing as a negative amount of energy. It's just signifying that the energy is being released. So I'm just going to say that I'm releasing 283.0 kilojoules. So I'm canceling out the kilojoules. I'm now left with moles. They wanted a mass. And remember, mass is in grams, right? So how do I go from moles to grams? We know that conversion, right? Just keep flowing times by the ratio. Throw the unit that you don't want on the bottom. And I want grams of CO, that's the mass. I have a gram to mole relationship of the same compound, that's the periodic table. And re remember, whenever we use the periodic table, it's always one mole. So let's go to the periodic table. What's the molar mass of carbon and oxygen? 12.01 plus 16, 28. 0 0.01, cancel out the moles of carbon monoxide, and there you go. Let's do this math, 175 divided by 283 times 28.01. I get roughly 17.3 grams of carbon monoxide, and that's it. So if you wanted to release 175 uh, kilojoules of energy, you would need to have 17.3 grams of carbon monoxide being burned by combustion. Now, I just want to say something real quick. If you did put a negative down here, your answer would have been negative. But remember, there is no such thing as a negative mass. That's why for these types of instances, just know that the negative is being released. It's not really a negative value per se. It just means released. All right? Thank you so much for viewing the video. Please let me know if this helped. Love talking to you guys. Um, good luck in your future tests and quizzes. Subscribe to the channel if you want to help us out. Thank you so much for that. And I will see you in future lessons. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.